Hi, my name is Christian Hounsheim. I'm a research associate at the uh, University of Flensburg in the Colexit Research Group, which is led by Professor Dr. Paul Yuri. Coal has traditionally played a quite important role in power uh, production in Germany as providing more than 50% in the past century. Um, and still today it provides around 30% of uh, total power production in Germany. Furthermore, of course, it provided uh, a large share or many jobs in the energy sector, um, which has significantly significantly declined uh, from more than a couple hundred thousands to um, around 20,000 direct jobs in the coal sector today. So as uh, resistance uh, to uh, coal phased out has been high as coal was seen to provide uh, cheap and reliable energy and at the same time economic wealth for uh, coal regions and beyond. Um, in 2018, the national government decided to implement a, a stakeholder and expert commission that was tasked to provide um, recommendations for a phase out of coal in Germany. And at the same time, also providing recommendations on measures for structural change and economic development in the affected regions, and of course, employment uh, for these regions. So in our research group, we uh, focus on coal phase out processes and the transformation towards a 100% renewable energy system. We look, of course, at techno-economic aspects, but also at socioeconomic aspects and how to provide um, political tools, etc., that might enable such a transition process um, that are not only uh, timely, but also just for the affected people, which is again important um, to gain the um, support and uh, for successful transformation processes. In the beginning of the year two, uh, 2019, the um, commission concluded with a recommendation for a coal phase out in Germany by the latest, by 2038, um, which was uh, celebrated as a first step and compromise uh, towards a phase out of coal by many. However, on the other hand, of course, it's criticized for being way too late for a wealthy country like Germany. So, and not only um, by, by critics, but also um, politics know that to achieve uh, national and global climate targets, a phase out in Germany needs to be faster. Right now, um, there might be the uh, chance for uh, Green Party involvement in the next um, government. And of course, they have as um, one of their main targets to also um, have a, an early phase out of coal, uh, which might lead to um, yeah, an, an earlier phase out, maybe not a new date uh, of the phase out or official date, uh, end date of the phase out, but um, just due to uh, market and economic effects, um, coal might be phased out sooner. So it's important, of course, not only to phase out coal, but also other fossil fuels. That's, um, of course, natural gas, which um, is a major source also of heating in Germany and um, heating as a decentralized um, provision of heat usually, um, it, it might be a lot, a lot more difficult. And at the same time, of course, um, there's a need to, to build out renewables because without um, substituting uh, fossil fuels with renewables, it will be very difficult to uh, also convince industry and other players uh, to support this process. And of course, beyond that, um, it's, it's a question of the mobility sector, um, the agriculture. So, and 
if we look at other industries like the the German car industry, there are many more jobs in the car industry than in the coal sector. Um, so uh, we hope that uh, some of our insights on these uh, current transformation processes might also help to um, yeah, spur further transformation processes for a just and timely transition towards more sustainable economic and general systems.